Mteja wa leo na mteja wa kesho ni tofauti. Unaweza kumchekesha simu mteja. Wewe ndio kwenye komo linakuja na visiraji. Na nikatuni yako. Is a way for me to present myself. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome kwenye The Junction. Bwana leo niko uh, na watu wangu wa nguvu kabisa. Hawashikaji zangu wanafanyaga smart moves. Eh, vijana fulani hivi. Mm. Kama wa mjini kama si wa mjini hivi. George wewe kijana wa mjini? Ah, yeye yeah, kwa. Wewe so siri boy? Ah, he was a guy. <laughs> High five. Ah, uh, who's George? Uh, I don't really like to define George kama mtu ambaye anafanya anything in specific because of the age that I'm in right now. I'd like to define myself as someone with endless uh, abilities to execute yeah. basically mm. sidhani kama hata wewe Charles umefikia mwisho wa mm. kujifunza mm. na kuelewa na kuweza kufanya mambo mbalimbali right. right. yeah, so you. until you classify as a person with endless abilities mm. you'll be able to achieve and do a lot more with what you are capable of mm. so to redefine everything i would like to consider myself a creative So I am uh how do I say this? I'm an entrepreneur. Uh started my own business uh when I was in college. Uh kwa bahati nzuri. Yeah. Ikashika. Nice. So I started biashara nikiwa na na umri mdogo sana and I started understanding the market at a very young age. Mm. So with the way I was promoting my business mm. uh I was attracted by jinsi gani biashara ilikuwa ina ina pick up. Mm. So I was like why not get into marketing as a whole? So I decided to also get into marketing and be like a freelancer for multiple companies mm. and uh freelance do marketing for them. Nishawa ikupata uh kazi ofisini mm. 9 to 5 is like <laughs> nikashinda. <laughs> nikapewa mpaka na dawati na meza yeah. nikapewa na ofisi uh, siku mbili tu that's not for you eh sikuenda tena <laughs> so i think i work best like mm. uh, by myself as a freelancer and not tied to like uh, anything tuno ah ah e bana jamani udada anatuzo ya ya mwanamke bora mwigizaji anatuzo azif eh? anatuzo kubwa mbili za uigizaji tuno mambo Tatu. 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 Nakubaki. Tuno. Uh-huh. How you feeling? I'm good. I'm good. Tuno mimi nataka unipe unachokifanya maana like nilipoingia kwenye Instagram yako nikaona eh Tuno. Kwanza Tuno je ni chora picha yangu. Sijapenda. Oh she's an artist as well. Yes sir. Yes sir. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Em tupe intro yako. Smart hata mwanangu yuko hapo kama ni introduce kwa hiyo. Sawa, tupe intro yako. Ya, kwa hiyo ya kwanza ulosema mm. um mchoraji mimi napenda kusema kwamba tunu ni uh, visual and um, visual and performing artists oh visual yes, and performing, visual yeah. and performing oh, okay. artists japo nimeanza na visual sana hata okay. chuo mimi nimesomea visual lakini mm. bado chuo nimesoma arts and design oh, as a graduate and uh, some fine art MA mm. Mm. nice kwa hiyo mimi nimesoma mambo ya sana yani ya nice. Lakini na enjoy zaidi ukawa nyuma ya camera. Watu wengi wanonijua zaidi. Yes, mm. mimi na enjoy sana ukawa. Yeah, used to be in your camera for almost like 10 years I guess. Mm. Baadaye sasa nikaona ni kanyo ma camera hivi. 10 years shows. <laughs> yes sir. 10 years. Yes sir. My bro me mimi like nimeanza mdogo sana kufanya mambo ya photography. Zamani nilikuwa ni photographer. Okay. I think ilikuwa ni Also hence the name Matukio. Ah, uh, so well, that's another story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's, that's another story. That's another story. I'm to say I hope we I hope we can get into that. This is interesting. Hello. Kwa historia hiyo jina. You with me on that, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I for being question we might as well. Just to tupe mbili tatu. Kwa nini matukio? Matukio. Ah, jina la matukio bwana nilipewa na my brother anaitwa Marco Chali. Marco Chali alikopo kila nikienda pale Yaani ikiwa nimeondoka lazima kuna kitu tu nitakuwa nimekifanya au nimetoka kukifanya au nitafanya yani 
akasema ish unajua mdogo wangu wewe una matukio mengi sana afu wewe ni matukio sasa leo jina nilikuwa silipendi kinoma kwa hiyo nika kila tukienda pale nikaenda studio wanangu matukio matukio kwa mimi nakuwa kama sometime na junior nation sasa wanaita matukio eh sasa jina likiwepo ulipendi ndio watu wanazidi kutania hilo hilo jina jinsi unavyozidi kulipinga ndio lakwa kwa sababu mwisho wa siku ipake kafika stage mimi kuna siku moja Uh, my family will be like why una introduce matukio like introduce like Charles au Jason amen yani mimi tuseme nikutana naye George mm. like hey, people what's good uh, my name is Charles ah uh-uh. ah my name is matukio <laughs> <laughs> yani limenikaa hivi but it's a good name it's catchy tuendelee eh kwa hiyo uko nyuma sasa nafanya zaidi kwenye mm. visual kwa nifanye kazi kama art director oh, art production director. designer oh, kwenye oh. hizo matangazo filamu oh lakini set designers kwenye events yeah, music videos nice. yes mfanya mshe kufanya umeanda set ya music video gani imeanda J melodies J melodies mbona nimefanya kama mbili J melodies ipi na ipi uh, is it sugar remix sugar. Oh, yeah na ile nyingine sugar 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 wake lakini okay. kuna na nyingine pia nimefanya uh, uh, Ben Paul nimefanyia oh yeah nimefanya sana pia EFM nimefanyia sana zile ile uh, kipindi chao cha Homa Oh, kwa sanaa na perform live oh, kwa hiyo zile homa ya jiji ni homa tu peke yake homa na pia ndio wanafanya wasanii wana perform pale yeah. live kwa hiyo nilikuwa nazifuatilia zile yes. niliwahi kuipenda moja walipiga ile wale Lutheran choir siyo kijitonyama hakuna oh, yeah, Mungu yeah. kama wewe yes. waliua ile <laughs> okay, kwa hiyo nice. zile set nini zote nafanyia lakini kwenye stand up comedy zi, watubaki niwafanyia sana setup zao. Nikaja na Eddie kukoa di kwenye stand up comedy. Hapo kwanza ungechanganya ngota kwanza muniambia kwa tu na wewe mtuchekeshe kwanza hapo tucheki. Hapana. Lakini shop chekesha si umecheki. Mimi kwenda huko nimejichekesha mwenyewe hapo. So yeah, na kwenye performing ndio hiyo uigizaji na nini. Lakini nadhani kwenye kuigiza sasa pengine sina uhakika. Lakini naisi labda imekuwa rahisi kwa sababu I've seen a lot. Unajua ukishakaa ukwe yeah. unaona vitu vingi. Kwa hiyo yeah. haikuwa ngumu sana nadhani kwenye kuigiza. Lakini yani ukinichana hivi chua mm. demo yangu. Mimi nipenda vision. Nipenda vision. Sana. Kuchora, kuchora yani ndo. Kuchora ndo kitu chako. My middle name. Painter, hivi hivi you know? hivi like nikwambia bwana nichore. Unaweza ukatumia dakika ngapi kunichora au masaa au nisipo? Ah, it depends. Kama ni katuni yako. Katuni Atale, vipi naambia unichore hapa sasa mimi kwa nini katuni mimi nataka unichore hapa nionekane mwenye na kichebe changu nini Utajulikana ni wewe lakini ndio inawezekana ikawa ni labda hiyo ya katuni mm-hmm. sababu kuchora kabisa vizuri hyper realistic mm-hmm. inachukua muda sio kitu cha dakika 5 au 2 hapana hata masiku Mimi I, I like to yani napenda kuchukua muda wangu I take my time spend mm-hmm. kufanya vitu vya kwa kwa unajua eh okay. nadhani ndio maana pia um, mimi mda mwingine i don't care kukosa hata orders kwa sababu nafanya art for art sake so you know that's that's, that's very important ah, yes mm. i know Mere art for mm. art sake kwa sababu unapoanza kufanya sanaa mm. or anything creative mm. for money yeah. mm. you lose passion you know why yeah. because you bulk up kwa kiasi inakuwa kwamba tena yani uwezi kuwa creative unakuwa sasa wewe una focus kutoa yeah. zile unaitwa vi, nini ukiwa una kazi ambazo zimebaki vipole vimeo vimeo eh hey, unakuwa sasa wewe unataka utoe tu vimeo mwisho wa siku kama umeshaikuona page ya Instagram ya mtu ambaye alikuwa anamfuatilia sana as a creative afa kaingia kwenye f- the finance side of things page yake inaanza kufa yes. you open his page it doesn't make sense anymore mm. it's like yeah. hata because even me earlier like i'm still doing the same lakini even the way my instagram was set up ilikuwa ni like color coordinated mm. ukiangalia hata kabla hujafungua the, the multiple posts mm. it looks attractive right so unapoanza ku load ile makazi mm. automatically structure inapotea yeah sure now your your socials look whack kwa sababu wewe yani sasa yani ni, ni finance us mm. na mtu kishaanza kupokea hela ya mtu unashindwa Yaani unakuwa tena sio wewe unabidi useme unatoa lini unapangiwa mm, sasa unapangiwa yes <laughs> kesho saa 9 saa 9 yeah. mnataka kitu chetu kwa sababu mwisho wa siku unachoka yes sir. and you lose it so what she said is 100% true mm. do art fanya creativity yako for passion yeah mm. kama hela ikiingia alhamdulillah alhamdulillah <laughs> yeah. 
Kama Yes, so you can imagine. Ah, you footy. You are your foot za kupima za magoli ya mpira unaweka magoli. Kwa hiyo mimi ni kwa kumbe mimi hapa nikitaka nikitaka nyumbani kwangu mmoja uli paint lo ukuta. La sura yangu unaweza? Mirrors, yes. Kwa sababu na hiyo mirrors as well. Yes. I do graffiti as well. Toto huyo. Kwa hiyo hamna kufanya fanya kazi ni bado umemaliza mimi I take my time. Yeah. Tusiongelee kwenye mambo yako ya movies. Hmm. Kazi gani wewe ulikupeleka mjini? Um tamthilia moja hivi ya DSTV kwa ilikuwa inaitwa La Familia. La Familia. Yes. Oh, la Familia kwa hiyo Max Max Rioba. Okay. Kwa hiyo naona <laughs> I say <laughs> Max bana aliniambia I'm damn rich sana. Na then tangu mm. 2017 hivi mm. I wanna be a tune I want you in front of a camera. Naambia no. no. Uko hapana. Oh. Na hicho kipindi nilikuwa namfanyia kazi yake as a production designer. Kwa hiyo ilikuwa tukimeza tukifanya setup vile mimi na crew yangu ya mm. art tunazingua. Yeye shemaweza kuset kwa tunafanya kama tunaigiza. Ah. Max akija anambia tu mimi nakutaka mbele ya kamera na mbele baba. Kitu nakiona. Huko huwezi kunipeleka. Hata siku moja. <laughs> Lakini so baada ya kaja na hiyo story yake mm. aliandika hiyo tamthili alafu akanidanganya mimi naomba niseme. Kwa sababu yeye inaambia je ile nipate. Akanambia sasa hii story Oyo main character oyo dada ni creative, very creative, anachora sana. Hata tunapofungua filamu yetu sin ya kwanza, atakuwa anachora. Kwa mimi nikaona, oh my god, so I'm painting. I'm going for this. So hapo ndo aliponiweza. Lakini nadhani ni shock chora si mara tatu, si zozi. Na kweli, tamthilia na vyanza ni dada anachora nilikuwa najichora mimi mwenyewe. Ah. I was like wow I'm doing this. Lakini ndio hivyo ikanipeleka watu wakapenda mm. nini ya. Yeah. Nice. Again, I'm very picky especially kwenye filamu mm. mambo ya kuigiza kukaa mbele ya kamera. Mm. Yo I'm Kweli? too picky yes. Yaani mpaka nifanye kazi. <laughs> uh, George wewe ni influencer right? Unafanya kazi na brand of photo fault. Yeah. Kabla kwanza kufanya kazi na brand yoyote waga unazingatia kitu gani? Ah uh, I think is this is something hata ta kwa watu wengine wanaotuzama I think mm. they need to consider. Right. Kabla hujachukua kazi, mm. angalia for the next 5 10 years. Mm. What brands do you want to associate with? Yeah. Unaelewa? Kwa sababu pia hata watu kabla hujakufa kazi wanaangalia wanakupa kazi by association. Mm. Una deal na kina nani? So for me, uh, when I I got into it I don't even know how it started but it mm. it happened. But once it, it it was on the move I decided to work with brands that are A listers. Mm. That kwamba hata mtu atakayekuja kuni approach aangalie who I work with mm. and see where to rank me and where I fit in with their product mm. placements. Right? Yeah. So I think it's on kitu cha kwanza for people that 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 are watching us they need to 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 focus on. If you want to get into influencing una find influencing kwa miaka miwili mitatu mm. is it something unataka kufanya long term long term yeah. kama unataka kufanya long term mm. unaanza ku deal sasa hapa ndo inabidi njai siku mm. <laughs> kuna muda inabidi ukatae kazi ili upate kazi ambayo inakupa mwelekeo unapotaka kwenda okay naelewa okay so opportunities zinakuwa zinatokea nyingi lakini unaangalia je unajua kuna ule msemo unasema start as you mean to go yani anza unapotaka kuendelea kwa kama ukianzia chini sana ina maana mpaka uje u pick up ku deal na huko unapotaka kitachukua muda kitachukua so hapo inabidi uh, patience mhm uh-huh. 
consider your options sana mm. na unapochagua uangalie cho kama kianzio cha unapotaka kufikia so i think that is my, yani hiyo ndo number one yangu mimi nikiwa nachagua who i deal with mm. and it's been very very helpful <coughs> from for me ndo maana hata like from my the portfolio that i have all the brands that ni mefanya nazo kazi kama vile zina Mmm unajua sisi wa Tanzania kuna muda tuongee ule ishara mmm unaelewa yeah ah tu no wewe character gani yani kwako na kupaga ugumu nadhani wewe wote ambao itanifanya nisiwe comfortable especially kwenye muonekano wangu Mm. You know? If I'm supposed to be a half naked. Ah, mambo ya. Oh, pent. Ah, hizo yani. Mambo ya nini? Na bali hiyo ni mtiani sana kwangu. Na naziepuka and alhamdulillah sijai kuzipata sana. Nazipata lakini sio sana. Sio sana. Yeah, lakini hizo shida kwa kweli. Mm. Mm. Ah, sasa kwa, kwa, ni kwa sababu like maybe ya family au mpenzi au wewe tu mwenyewe upende. Ni mimi tu mwenyewe. Mimi napenda okay. napenda kuwa comfortable. Yaani nadhani mm. ikiwa comfortable nafanya vizuri zaidi. Okay. So nikishaanza kuonaona aibu na nini na unajua uigizaji yo mm. acting unataki kuwa na aibu. George wewe unafanyaga nini? Yaani wewe nikiangalia brand zako unazofanya nazo ni brand kubwa. Unapataje pataje au madili? Au 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 ndo yoro yoro sio yai tu so basically nimeanza ku create e lifestyle way way back okay you finance it mwenyewe the lifestyle invest kwa ajili yako yourself yes sir everything that you do mwanzoni kabla hujapata madili ya mm. unatakiwa uangalie ndio turudi kule kule what i said earlier mm. angalia unataka kuwa nani okay so my lifestyle since i was in college mm. it changed into a way where nilikuwa nataka kufanya what i'm doing sasa hivi mm. so mimi wakati niko chuo these people i won't mention but i did a lot of uh, influencer pricing cards uh-huh. za kwa yeah. how ku price mambo yao na nini kwa nilifanya zani hizo i've done a lot of logos for a lot of people as well ambao alikuwa ameanza by the time where i was not, i was not doing this so mimi mwenyewe nikawa na curate au naweza nikanunua kitu and i post it on my socials kama vile like it's a sponsored situation mm. so you just do a lot of tagging una tag tu mm. najua ku tag ni kama kurusha jiwe baharini uh-huh. wewe jua sasa kabisa kabisa okay so i dig that hey, i dig that nimependa hiyo lakini sasa <laughs> sio ile mtu una tag umepiga selfie tu umekaji wa coach una tag watu 30 ndogo msunajua hizo wewe unaona unapata lakini you need to tag the right people yeah hopefully people will see na watataka kufanya kazi na wewe so it took a lot of years mtu ana anaangalia social yako asema ni wewe unalipwa mm. <laughs> but it's not projections too unaelewa mm. so in the end of the day mtu anakuja anaangalia your feed They're like okay this is someone that we want to work with. Yes, so that's that's basically how I've, I've done it. Okay. And also hii ni nyingine. Nipe nipe hiyo nipe nipe exclusive hiyo. Ba ba. So but your buy inaonekana kama same watu wenda wanawaka tu. Unajua? Sasa. Sometimes ba ndo same kuna deal kuliko unaposikia wewe. Kweli. Okay. If you're smart. Ba ndo same ambapo all the What's the name? All the corporate people mm. they let loose. Okay. They're open to conversations. Okay. So once you're good at that, you mm. know. Kuna ile mtu, unajua mimi nilifikia kwanza it doesn't work. Mimi kuna mtu aliniambia. Mm. So mimi nikafikia kwanza ni mzaa. Kwa kuna siku tumekaa tumepiga story mm. na some corporate guy. Mm. No names. I'm, I'm not going to name no, names. No, 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 names. So we did a whole unajua ile mipango ya ya ba. Sasa unajua afu unajua nini kesho tupigane simu. So me, I'm like ah it's one of those ones ah mm. kesho atoes kupigana simu sawa mm. sawa kesho simu naita oya oh, yeah. ni sema ambayo you just need to keep an open eye yeah. kwa sababu unajua ba simeenda na wewe Charles mm. wewe unaweza kukuta unawajua watu mimi siwajui ndio ile unavuta oh, yeah. wewe msalimie flani this, mm. this guy does 1 2 3 so if you're smart you're like oh this is somewhere i want to get into 
Sema so kwele. eh yeah. unapiga naye story mbili tatu kwa sababu mm. pale he's letting loose. So yeah. he's open to hearing you out. Mm. Okay. Unapata ugumu gani kwenye ratiba zako na pia una maisha yako binafsi you have family mlaba uko kwenye mahusiano unajua zile una, unapata utapa ugumu gani kwenye I'm um, honestly serious kusema kuna ugumu mm. hivyo kwa sababu mimi napenda kupanga ratiba zangu vizuri okay. na nafanyia vitu ah, kabla hujeni nipe anipe basi ratiba yako ya ya siku au ya wiki um, kwanza siwezi kuruhusu wiki ipite mm. sija create chochote nice. in terms of um hii zaidi ni kwenye michoro mm. painting so mm. mimi Uh, painting zangu zina story mm. zinaongea kitu sio wow. mchoro tu upo alafu basi sasa so, mnapenda ziishi pia kwa hiyo mm. i take time nachukua muda mrefu sana ku create kwa hiyo kwenye ku create hapo nakuta naandika mm. how i do some sketches mm. kwa hiyo in a week yani i must create something hiyo ni lazima hata kama niwe na ratiba kiasi gani sio na shooting yani we, we kuchora ni kitu unachokipenda eh, sana yangu inani, inaniongezea vitu vingi sana kweli well, yeah. yes inanisaidia kwenye kuperform vitu vingi sana kwa well, uigizaji well. sijui nini kuchora kuchora yes yani nikiwa nimekaa na chora yani kuchora hivi yes, kuna kufanyaje wewe kwenda kuigiza kuongea <laughs> sasa kama nimepewa siku unaongea ah, unaongea kibubu yani unachora una kibububu <laughs> alafu unaniambia na kuongezea kwenda kuongea tunwe tunwe Tuna mwanza kuniokota. Chao, ni sikiliza basi. Ah, uh-huh. Um nime nimeitwa kwenye kazi, si? Mm. Nimeelezea character yangu kwamba mm. wewe utakuwa tunu binti sijui ambaye ana stress ameachwa na mume wake, si? Mm. Um inabidi uanze kumuishi huyo character eh, ili uperform vizuri sio unaenda tu pale no, lazima mm. umuishi umuelewe ya kuingie, unajua? Mm. So muda wangu mzuri wa kutulia na kufikiria vitu vyote hivyo mimi nikiwa na chora. So yani ni nadhani nikiacha kufanya hivyo nitakuwa oh. naharibu utaratibu wa oh, vitu vyangu okay. vingi so yeah lazima nifanye hivyo lakini kama kuna hiyo nimesema kwamba napenda kuchukua uh, kazi ambazo zipo ndani ya uwezo wangu mm. unajua sitaki kujizidishia vitu ya yeah, sababu kuna <laughs> madhara yake mengi mm, tu right. and i don't like to disappoint people i don't like to disappoint myself so sidhani kama kuna ugumu mimi nachukua vitu ambavyo viko ndani ya uwezo mm. wangu ugumu ni kuchoka tu chaos unaelewa yani kwa mfano kushoot eh hey, inachosha mm. kwa hapo ndo kwenye ugumu tutachoka nini utapata you know kwa muda unahisi kama unaumwa kumbe ugumu ni uchovu yani yeah lakini sidhani kama kuna ugumu George uh, hmm. hivi uh, like uh, uh, unafanya kazi na elements ni unaandaa events au unaandaa makenda zao like what do you do with elements mm. It started off with merchandise which mm. brings me back to like the whole other part of uh, what I do. Waje kwanza nikuuza kitu kimoja George. Kwa nje jiwe mwanzangu unaotaga kizungu Kiswahili. Inategemea nimelalaji. Kwa hiyo tunarudi kule kwenye nilianza kufanya nini nikiwa chuo. So wakati natafuta deals to work with na makampuni mengine nili kutanisha na mtu nilikiwa chuo ambaye ana kiwanda cha nguo so mimi nilikuwa napenda kuvaa na i still love dressing up unajua so nikokutanisha na huyo jamaa nikasema bane kwani siende kuona kiwanda chake nikaenda afa kama mshikaji wangu tu akanambia unajua ni kama unaweza ukatoa vitu vitatu mm emtoa kwa tukaenda pale nika design some tracks mm. nikafanya za kwangu binafsi za kuvaa Nikaa na post sasa kia ni kipost there's like maswali mm. oh napataje i was like kama kuna fursa yeah. hapa mm. so nikaandika i think that hiyo post bado ipo nika post picha na tracks nikasema nikitoa hizi watu wangapi watanunua mm. nice watu wakaandika pa mita chukua mita chukua i was like mm. okay nika toa pisi kama sasa hapa ndio unajua kama maisha wana <laughs> life is very funny nikajifumua mm. tukatoa PC 500 PC 500 za tracksuit mm, rangi tano a uh, 100 a uh, 100 pieces different color mm. tukatoa mzigo ukafika kwa mimi katika maelekezo yangu kule nikasema jamani hakisheni huo mzigo unafika sehemu fulani mm. yani hapo ndo 
kuna vitu vitajiki hapo kwenye mm. kama akishani mzigo unaenda same flani na sio same flani mm. mzigo kaacha kuna same flani ukaenda okay, same, same flani okay. kwao tukakutana na mambo ya ukaguzi na mm. nini na vitu vikataka kuchomwa moto vyote mm. pole sana mambo kwa hiyo kwa bahati nzuri tukafanikiwa tukatoa mm. kutoa tuka ukweli wa Mungu mm. we sold everything but we made nothing <laughs> but we made nothing. Mm. Ndio wale mambo mzigo utakiwa ende huku ukaenda mm, huku kwa katika ku yeah. we made nothing. Okay. Kuoni okay. kakaa siku moja chumbani kwangu and I was like Unajua the heartbreak kwamba yani da yani successful mm. drop mm. but no money. <laughs> Crazy man. I was like ah do I really want to do this? Sasa pale ndo nikaanza kupata sasa mzuka kwamba wewe kama umeuza PC 500 unaweza kauza tena ukiingiza katika namna nzuri hapo unapiga hapa so i did it again tuka drop ten mm-hmm. tukaanza kuuza we baking kwa nilikuwa nauza from home naika mm-hmm. store home napokea simu natuma napokea simu natuma tukaanza kupokea simu sasa za wasanii oh nice. naomba <laughs> 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 Naomba mimi unipe hivi mimi nitakupromotia. Mm. <laughs> Nikakata. Sasa hapa ndio ujue sasa ndio hapa mm. brings us back to what I was telling you. Simamia kwenye unapotaka kuwa, kuwa. Na kufika. Eh. Yeah. Mm. Kwao ningekuwa natoa. Mm. Yeah. Kia mtu angeona hii ni brand ya kutoa. Kweli. Kwao nikagoma. Kila video ni kagoma. Hey, ni kagoma. Uh. We're big come big brand, big mm. big big guy was. Mm. Uh, I got you. Si unajua unachekiwa kwa beat wewe si dogo. Eh. Oh, hembu, kwanza unanifahamu yeye nakufahamu. So, eh, obviously yeah. kaka wewe. Hey. Afu brother nyingi. Eh, na kufahamu eh. Kwa hiyo tuna tuna video tunatoa hapa. Hembu uh, tuma 1 2 3. Noma sana hiyo. Eh, yani utafika mbali. Utafika <laughs> <laughs> mbali tena. <laughs> so, <laughs> msanie. Wana wana mambo. Sana so nikagoma. <laughs> Baada ya kugoma, kani mind pale nini? So me I remember mtu wa kwanza ambaye nimewahi kumpa product mm. for free. Mm. Na ni kwa sababu tulikuwa tuna mission naye and tunapiga sana mission ya kija Arusha nini? Jinako. Hii ya Jinako ni kwa yeah. sababu even through all my growth I've always involved him because yeye alinisaidia kutoka semifinal kuna semifinal. Okay. So even now even with entertainment mm. my number one pick if I'm doing shows if I'm doing a local act is always G like that's my first call. Mm. Because if it's someone that helped you when you could, when you were just getting off your feet when you have the opportunity na wewe sasa kurudisha fadhila yeah yeah you got to g uh, sasa sasa apo, ay, apo apo hmm. bem niambie kitu gani ambacho yeye njina kwa ni wewe yule ni your brother for life kitu uh, atakufanya kwa sababu unajua g hmm. tulikutana naye when he was uh, going alikuwa anaenda kufanya sh- alikuwa anafanya show arusha kwa hiyo tukawa mimi na washikaji zangu wa arusha kina bahati you know hmm. so akawa na posters wanasambaza chuo Sami sikio na kuniko kiambati asema unajua G yuko around na sambaza flyers chuo turn to come side here I was like ah cool I'm not doing anything Tukaenda that's the first time I met him I think mm. Tukaenda tukasambaza flyers na katika kusambaza he was asking me what I do na nini mm. So I told him He was I think we, the, the conversation was just like fluid ilienda tu So I was like this is a guy that I would like to associate myself with kwa sababu hata kwa jinsi anavyofanya mm. he he's a he's a guy that gives opportunity. Mm. Yeah. So I, I gave him a few stuff. He worked them. Now, unajua tena ni mtu ambaye unajua kuna msanii unampa he does anavaa mara moja afa na sahau. Yeah, mm. became like something he always wore. Oh, nice. Cool. That's how it started with with with, with G. Okay. Uh tuno family yako na ku support unachokifanya? Oh yeah 100%. Family yangu mm. mimi mm. sana sana sana. Kwa kweli I'm very <laughs> blessed my mom. Mm. Tena kama mama yangu mm. ni mtu ambaye kama ningekuwa nimemsikiliza siku nyingi mm. pengine hapa yani tulikuwa sisi tunaongea na tunu aina gani? Probably oh, yeah. au pia God God's timing mm. you know. God's pengine time. ilikuwa ndo sawa ndo muda sahihi lakini mama yangu mimi amekuwa ni push tangu niko mdogo. Yaani nimekuwa ndo nikaanza kuelewa mama alikuwa ananiambia nini. Sana kwa sababu kuna uzi wangu unajua zile ukiulizo unataka kufanya nini? Unajua zile engineer, doctor na mimi nilikuwa kwenye kundi la watoto. My mama alikuwa ananiambia siku nyingi sana kwamba 
wewe wewe chana nayo mambo wewe fanya art si unaelewa nice. yani niko mdogo kabisa mm. kwa nilikuwa nafanya lakini yani sikuwa nachukulia kwamba eti nitakuja kufanya art for living mm. no Nikuona <laughs> 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 yule mwenye mwandiko mzuri mimi ndo uh-huh. naandika. Afu na nikimaliza kuandika upande huu, ukiingia upande huu mimi nafuta huko. Eh, kwa nini umeandika kwa haraka? Eh, mimi ni kwa snitch. Mm. Alafu mwalimu siku nyingine hata ana umo umo hivi. Bwana matukio, somo la hesabu wafundisho wenzako. Ah, mimi na wafundisho wenzako. Soma. Sikufika hata hiyo PCB nini advance kusoma. Na nadhani pia sasa ilifika time. Mungu naye akaanambia mtoto wangu mpenzi <laughs> nisikilize this is your path sio naelewa ya yeah, kwa sababu uh, olevo nilifanya nili vizuri zaidi masomo ya art mm. La, lakini japo nilikuwa na points za kusoma science, science. lakini nikapata changamoto nikachelewa kwenda shule advance mm. kwa hiyo nilipofika nikaomba kubadilisha combination niingie science nikapewa sababu za ajabu ajabu mwezi mm. amen ndio inasema yani ni mipango tu ya Mungu muda mwingine wanaambia darasa limejaa Sijui nini. Eh, nikaambiwa hivyo. Afa akaniambia mbona hujafaulu wewe utafeli tu wewe. Na shule yenyewe pia ilikuwa unajua shule zetu za serikali na nini tena muda huo. Kwa hiyo nikasoma art lakini nakumbuka nilifeli sana time ya kwanza nilipoingia form 5. Nilikuwa wa mwisho. Yaani wa pili kutoka mwisho. Kudadeki. Kwa sababu nilikuwa sisomi kabisa. Yaani wewe unaweza wewe unaweza kudeal na physics lakini uwezi kudeal na history. Yaani nilikuwa sisomi. Nilikuwa sisomi kabisa. Yaani nilikuwa najitia stress. Historia ya Mansa Musa tu inakushinda. No, si kwamba nilikuwa nanishinda. Nilikuwa sisomi. Yaani nasema bado na ile akili kwamba this is not for me. I'm a doctor. And why am I doing this? Art art is not for me. Kwa hiyo sikuwa nasoma kabisa na jilizaliza. Mimi najitia stress ambazo zina kichwa wala miguu. Kwa hiyo nikafeli. Nikafeli. Yaani sikufanya vizuri. Sikufanya vizuri kabisa. So nikiongea na mama bado ananiambia Wewe <laughs> soma mbona unasoma kwa nzuri sana? Kuna mambo mengi ya kufanya. Utasoma international relations, utasoma mm. art, mm. anarudi kwenye art. art. Oh. Na hapo nikiwa nimeweza form 4, nikaanza kwenda kusoma unajua zile pre form 5, mimi nataka mm. kusoma zangu CBG. Mama akaniambia mamangu mchaga mimi. Mm. <laughs> mama tu, shato matunu. Kuna vile hela nilikuwa namuomba bi mchaga ananiambia Hivi hizi picha zako unazochora chora ya makaratasi unaonaje ukienda mwenge pale same flani unaweza ukauza unajua hapo ni muomba hela flani kwa anakuwa kile nyingine lakini pia mama yangu ana ile kitu ya kuona vitu sana kwa watoto wake sio mimi tu yani hiyo ya kuniambia kama nifanye art hata ndugu zangu kaka zangu dada yangu aliwaambia the same ila mimi nimechelewa kumsikiliza pia dada yangu pia they're all into art as well Oh. Yeah they're doing art. I think my family we have this thing with art. Huh? Mm. My brother, my brother actually is my biggest inspiration. For real? Yes, my first brother is my biggest inspiration. Yeah, anafanya kitu gani? Um he's very creative. Like he anafanya to be a shara sasa so hivi. Okay. Ila alikuwa anachora sana. Unajua zile picha anachora kama kijiji, nini? Ah. Ngoja wazani kuza hapo kitu kimoja tu. Kuchora ni ni kipaji like unaweza kujifunza au kuchora ni kitu ambacho kinakuepo like kwenye kwenye damu tu like wewe unajua kuchora una uwezo wa kujifunza lakini sasa kuchora um, sio tu kuchora pia unajua mm. yani kwanza ili ujue kitu nadhani uwe willing sasa kutaka kusema mm. kweli i want to know this thing sio naelewa kwa kwenye kuchora ni hivyo pia hata kama ujui una uwezo wa kujifunza kama kweli unataka kujifunza trust me mimi nimeenda chuo tumeanza um, degree na watu ambao walikuwa hawajui kuchora kabisa. Mm-hmm. Lakini tulikuwa na mwalimu ambaye yani anakufanya kwanza anapoanza kukufundisha anakufundisha um, yani you have to fall in love mm-hmm. with it kwamba upende kuchora, upende nini. Kwa hiyo watu wakaanza mm-hmm. kupenda. Wakajifunza nice. nice. na kabisa unaona yani wameweza na kwa sababu ilikuwa ni shule ni chuo tunasoma mm-hmm. kwa walikuwa wanafanya mara nyingi so mm-hmm. tunarudi pale kwenye mm-hmm. uki practice mara nyingi unazidi kuwa mzuri. Sasa so, kama ujui unaweza kujifunza. Mimi naamini hivyo. Unajifunza kabisa. Lakini kama una kipaji inakusaidia zaidi.